Hey students all over the world and in Nigeria especially, you are welcome to this channel. Today we'll be looking at local biotic community. We'll be looking at the biomes that we have in Nigeria. Under this topic, we look at the various biomes that we can find in Nigeria. We look at their characteristics. We look at the states where you can find these biomes. And we look at um, the animals and plants that you can find in each of these biomes. First, what is a biome? A biome is a large natural terrestrial ecosystem consisting of characteristic plants and animals. A biome is identified by its vegetation. You can actually identify a biome by just looking at the kind of plant and animal that is in that particular environment. And what brings about the type of plant that we have in a particular biome? The type of vegetation in a biome is largely determined by climatic factor, especially rainfall and temperature. The type of vegetation in a particular biome is determined by the rainfall, the amount of rainfall in that particular biome and also the uh, temperature of that biome. Regions all over the world having similar climatic conditions have similar biome. And let's look at the local biome that we have in this country, Nigeria. We have different, at least four types of biomes in this country. The following local biomes are found in Nigeria. Number one is mangrove swamp forest. Number two is tropical rainforest. Another one is the mountain vegetation or mountain forest. And we have the savannas, which can be divided into Guinea savanna, Sudan savanna, and Sahel savanna. Let's look at the first type of biome, which is mangrove swamp forest. Mangrove swamp forests are found in the tropics around the coastal regions and river mouths in Nigeria. And here, rainfall is heavy. Temperature is high. Then humidity is also high and the mangrove swamps are forests of small evergreen, broad leaves, trees growing in waterlogged soil or swampy soil. And when you look at the mangrove swamps forest, they can be found in states like Delta, uh, Cross River, Bayelsa, Akwa Ibon, Ogun and even Lagos. And when you look at the characteristics of this mangrove swamp forest, its water is a combination of fresh and salt water because they are found in coastal regions. Then it has, a, it has tall woody trees. Rainfall is over 250 centimeters throughout the year, resulting in water logging in, that, in those areas. Then common plant species that you can find in mangrove swamp forest include the white mangrove, red mangrove, raffia palm, coconut, and so on and so forth. Then animals that you can find in this uh, biome include tilapia fish, oysters, crabs, snakes, birds, and kingfisher. Then when you look at the next type of biome that we have in Nigeria, that is the tropical rainforest. The tropical rainforest he, here, rain is heavy with high temperature throughout the year. Humidity is high. The amount of rainfall is in, in the tropical rainforest is above 200 cm per annum. Then trees are mostly evergreen in this biome. Forest is densely populated with plants, trees that are in strata or layers. Then epiphytes are common. What are epiphytes? Epiphytes are plants that grow on another plant. When you look at the tropical rainforest, you can find them in states, states like Edo, Delta, Ondo, Imo, Abia, Lagos, Ogun, Anambra, Rivers, Bayesa, and Aqua Ibon. And the characteristics of uh, uh, this vegetation is that number one, the vegetation has tall trees with buttress roots and evergreen leaves. 
The trees here are deciduous, that is, they share their leaves during the dry season and then grow them back during the uh, rainy season. The trees exist in different heights or layers. We have the bottom or lower layer, then we have the middle layer, and we have the upper layer. That's what we call the emergent trees. In this uh, biome, we have trees that exist in five layers, especially. Then it has tall grasses. Then plants that you can find in this biome include Iroko, Obeche, Maogani, African walnut, Okpepe, Ebony, and so on and so forth. Then the animal species that you can find in this habitat or in this biome, we have them as monkeys, birds, snakes, chameleon, squirrels, and so on and so forth. Let's move on to savanna. Savanna yeah, is also known as grassland. The tropical grassland are known as savanna. The tree vegetation beds, the tree vegetational belt in the Nigerian savanna are the Guinea savanna, which borders the rainforest, then followed by the Sudan savanna. And when you go up north, you find the Sahel savanna, which form a, a border with the desert. Then vegetation is mainly grasses in the savannas. Then of various types, we have grasses of various types. Rainfall is low, temperature is high, humidity is also low. Then trees and shrubs are scattered in this biome. Then trees and shrubs are resistant to fire because um, bushfire is very common in this biome. Let's look at the first type of savanna that we have in Nigeria, which is the Guinea savanna. Guinea savanna. The trees there, it is the largest of all or the biotic community in Nigeria. It covers the major uh, area of uh, the Nigerian map, that is the Guinea savanna. And it has tall grasses. It also has uh, tall trees with broad leaves. Then the trees are scattered and deciduous. We have defined deciduous earlier. These are plants that shed their leaves during the dry season. Then it has moderate rainfall of uh, between 100 to 150 centimeters per annum. Then trees commonly found in this biome include locust bean trees, we have shea butter, we have isobelia, and so on and so forth. Then the animals include antelopes, lions, leopard, zebra, and so on and so forth. Then the, where can we find Guinea savanna? You can find it in Enugu in uh, Kogi State, in Benue, in Kwara, in Oyo State, in Ebonyi, in uh, Oshun State, and Ekiti State. Let's move on to the next type of savanna, which is Sudan savanna. When you go up north, after leaving the Guinea savanna, what you find is the Sudan savanna. And characteristics of plant and animal found in this place, we have it has scattered and short deciduous trees. It has short but numerous grasses. Some of the trees wither in dry season and sprout at the beginning of the rainy season. Then some of the trees have thorns, which while others have thick barks. Then it also has a low rainfall of about 50 to 100 centimeters per annum. Then common plant that you can find in this biome, we have the acacia, we have date palm, we have sick cutting plants, we have the baobab and so on. Then the animals. Now you find in this biome, we have the leopards, antelopes, lions, deers, we have uh, lizards, snakes, and so on and so forth. Then where can we find this Sudan savanna? You can find it in Plate 2 State, uh, in Kaduna, in Bauchi, Niger State, Taraba, Adamawa, and Kano. The last uh, part, the last type of um, savanna that you can find in Nigeria is the Sahel savanna. This one is up north, very close to the desert. Then characteristics of a uh, plant that we find here, this biome has high temperature and very low rainfall. The rainfall is below 50 centimeter per annum. Then it has short and scanty grasses. Grasses are fewer, poorer and in patches in this particular uh, biome. Then it has short and tough shrubs or trees. Then it has many drought resistant and scattered plants. 
this plant has uh, drought resistance because rainfall is very very low you can see below 50 centimeter per annum then plant species that you can find uh, in this biome are those that can survive uh, drought an example are the acacia gum arabic we have the date palm and so on and so forth then where can we find this uh, biome in Nigeria we have it in Bornu state we have it in Castina we have it in Shokoto Yobe Kebi Sanvara Kano and Jigawa state the animal that can be found in this um, Sahel savanna is almost like that of the Sudan savanna that's why I didn't mention it here then let's move on to the last but not the least type of biome that we have in Nigeria which is the mountain forest or mountain grassland now the trees are evergreen in this biome and are found on mountain slopes trees are less luxuriant than that of the uh, rain um, rainforest they are less luxuriant then we have the afro alpine vegetation that are at the top of the mountain at height of about 300 meters then vegetation consists of mainly we have the earth the grasses and the sedges in this uh, biome then another name for this biome is what we call the mountain vegetation and they can also call it afro alpine and the characteristics of um, plant that we have here we have vegetation decreases with height of the mountain then the windward side of the mountain may have a luxurious forest type of vegetation while the leeward side may experience a savanna type of vegetation that's why they call it mountain vegetation it can be mountain grassland it can also be mountain it can also be called mountain forest because we have different type of vegetation on this mountain then the temperature and pressure decreases with altitude and where can we find this uh, uh, biome we can only find it in taraba state in nigeria thank you for watching this uh, we are going to be moving on to the biomes all over the world please subscribe to this channel